I feel the sky tumbling down I feel my heart start to tremble whenever you're around Yeah! You're such a today feeling stuck and I don't know how many of you have felt stuck before and maybe you feel a little bit like Tim Allen in the Santa Claus when he gets stuck down that chimney. <laughs> I need a little help down here. Or maybe one of my favorite life philosophers, Charlie Brown, when he says, ah! <laughs> well, what got me started thinking about doing a talk like this is my husband and I went to see a very fine violinist who was also a speaker. And this was his story. He had come to a point in his life where he really felt stuck. <laughs> he said, okay, God, nothing is happening. He got on his knees and he said, okay, okay, God, I want you to be my agent. Wow. Well, you know what? About 30 seconds later, he received a phone call and he started working with some of the biggest stars on the planet. I mean, some of the biggest stages in the world. Whoa. <laughs> well, I walked away from that thinking, <laughs> How come I'm still like feeling sort of stuck in my life? Elton John hasn't given me that call saying, you know, Deb, <laughs> my chops aren't what they used to be. Can you open for me for two years in Vegas? I could play all of his songs. I've had my own times and my own story of feeling stuck. And I had one year, especially, where so many things happened. It was the summer of 2011, and I was launching one of my musicals. Now, I've written three musicals for the stage, and to launch them takes an incredible amount of work, usually about five years of preparation time, five to seven. And this was a large one. It was called Sarina. It's based on the beautiful but tragic love story of Nicholas and Alexandra. And we opened our first weekend, had a great opening. Now, two things you want to get from a world premiere. Number one, you want to get a great review. And number two, you want to get a great video. Well, our first weekend, we had a reviewer come out and we had a great review. And the theater manager comes up to me and says, oh, Deb, you know, you know what? Something's happened. There's a little politics going on between the theater and the city, and I forgot to tell you about this, but you need to leave the theater right away because they've red tagged the theater. <laughs> they've what? So I go out front of this theater, and there's a whole line of policemen and a whole line of firemen out there at the front of the theater, and they're telling me, yes, ma'am, you need to leave the theater right away. And if you and your cast don't leave, we'll cite everyone with a misdemeanor. What? Well, that was a moment where I was feeling stuck. <laughs> I'm all alone. I'm feeling like, okay, God, where are you? I need a little help down here. Well, I love the story of Oscar Pistorius. Now, Oscar was the South African runner that ran on carbon fiber legs, and they're called cheetahs. At the age of 16, he started running. and He loved to run, and his life goal was to qualify and run in the regular Olympics. <laughs> well, I got to see that race. I don't know how many here got to see that race, but what a joy it was to see him run that race. After the end of that race, the winner, Kirani James, exchanged name badges with Oscar. His life motto was, you are not disabled by your disabilities, but you are able by the abilities that you have. Well, I don't know where you are today and if you're running or where you're running to, but I want to leave you with a great thought. You're not, you don't need to be held down by your situation in life, but you need to focus on what is true 